Hello folks, this is MJ Knight on YouTube.com and you're watching the inaugural issue of Nightwatch. Right, this is not going to be a weekly thing, this is going to be a thing I do now and again. Right, what you are seeing in front of you, this is confirmed folks, this is, the, this is kit for the new TV series. The only things I noticed that are paying homage to the original show is the way the scanner is shaped and the fact that kit happens to be a jet black supercar. Um, but the only interesting thing I liked about the press release for when they showed all three kit cars is the fact that one of them will be driven completely under remote control. Now this is something Glenn Larson would have loved to have had done in the original TV series just to have you know the original 82 Pontiac to be driven under control. There's the hero car like with the last incarnation where only um, you know, the lead actor will be able to get in and out and he will only be able to drive it and then there's the attack kit which has super pursuit mode but it's completely watered down and it just looks horrible I mean seriously it just doesn't look good I mean it just looks to me like they didn't spend any time whatsoever making it kit now if you look at the 82 Trans Am it's sleek, it's aerodynamic, it looks futuristic you think, yeah that looks like a great car. Mustang, beautiful car, not so futuristic looking. And apparently David Hasselhoff is going to repri is reprising his role as Michael Knight. And the original car, the Knight 2000 might show up. Now, this is what cheesed me off. Look, look at the dashboard for the 3000. It looks like they're going for the very simplistic approach. And then of course you look at the original kit's dashboard. Come on. The 26 year old... Um, version of the dashboard is superior by far. Now, we all thought that this was just a mocked up Photoshop um, job, but apparently this is legit. This is what kit will look like. Now, you look at the 82 model, I mean, alright, granted, it's an old car by today's standards, but to me, it still looks futuristic. I mean, look, sleek, aerodynamic, it just looked the part. And, you know, Larson went out of his way to customise it to make it look different to a stock Trans Am. And all they've done here, the producers, all they've done is just stuck a scanner on top and removed the Ford logos. I mean, to me, that's just plain lazy. I mean, again, kit in convertible mode. It looks nice. And again, it just looks the part. I know I'm repeating myself, but it just looks the part. Whereas with the Mustang, it's like they spent no money on it. And apparently, no turbo boost. Great. A repeat of Knight Rider 2000 and Team Knight Rider. Good night and Merry Christmas.